India, its climate. The climate includes temperature, distribution of rainfall, direction and the speed of winds. These are called the elements of climate. The physical features like mountains, hills, water bodies, etc. also influence the climatic conditions in a country. For example, when we say that Kerala is hot and humid or Kashmir is cold, we are referring to the climate of these places. When we say that the temperature in Delhi was 35 degrees Celsius on Tuesday, we are referring to Delhi's weather on a particular day. The climate in one part of the country may differ from the climate in another part. Cold weather Snowfall in winter season Hot weather The climate greatly influences the life of people. India is a very big country and the Tropic of Cancer passes through the middle of it. The climatic conditions in India varies from cold climate in northern mountains to very hot in the Rajasthan desert. The coastal areas are neither hot nor cold. Some areas get heavy rainfall while others remain dry. The climatic conditions in India can be easily explained in terms of an annual cycle of seasons. It has three main seasons. These are the winter season, the summer season and the rainy season. The winter season. The winter season begins in November and continues till February. It starts becoming pleasant. The sun is not so hot. The days start becoming shorter and the nights longer. This marks the beginning of winter. January is the coldest month. Winters are very cold in the Himalayas. Many places have snowfall. The northern plains are cold. The cold decreases as we go south. Thus, a major part of the country except Tamil Nadu remains dry. The retreating monsoon winds pick up moisture when they pass over the Bay of Bengal. The coastal areas in Tamil Nadu get rainfall from these winds. The weather is generally pleasant in the winter season. The southern states in India do not experience a distinct cold weather season. The summer season. The summer season begins in March and continues till June. In South India, it starts becoming hot in March and stays hot till after May. In North India, summer starts in April and goes on till June and July. In summer, it is hot and dry in almost all parts of India, except the mountains. The sun is very hot and days are longer than nights. Hot dry wind called Lu blow in the northern plains. Dust storms are also common in the region. The coastal plains are not so hot in summers. However, it is very humid that is the amount of water vapor in the air is high. Humid weather is uncomfortable as it makes us sweat a lot and the sweat takes a long time to dry. The monsoon season. The monsoon season begins in June. In some parts it begins in July. The season continues till the end of October. The summer monsoon winds enter India from the southwest direction. Thus these winds are also called the southwest monsoon winds. In Indian Peninsula, the southwest monsoon winds split into two branches, the Arabian Sea branch and the Bay of Bengal branch. The Arabian Sea branch is more powerful than the Bay of Bengal branch. These winds blow from sea to land and carry with them a large amount of moisture. The summer monsoon winds strike against the hills and mountains and cause heavy rainfall in many parts of India. Mount Sindram in Khasi Hills in Meghalaya is the wettest place in the world. Chirapunji, about 16 km east of Mount Sindram, is the second wettest place in the world. Most of the rainfall in our country is received during this season. The monsoon winds are very irregular. They can cause floods in one part of the country and drought in another part at the same time. The average annual rainfall in India is about 125 cm. The general distribution is uneven. Normally, it decreases from south to north and also from east to west. 
the Tamil Nadu coast remains dry in the season. The Thar Desert in Rajasthan and the run of Kutch receives very little rainfall. The Tamil Nadu coast receives rain in November and December.